Hi boys and girls, Miss Cabrera here, and today I'm going to walk you through this flamingo drawing where we see the flamingo reflected into the water. So with a drawing like this, we call um, this line right down the middle, it's like an invisible horizon line, our line of symmetry. Our drawing is symmetrical because what you see on the top it's reflected almost like a mirror, the same as you see on the bottom. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do that. And once you have the hang of this, you could really um, draw anything with reflectional symmetry as long as you have that line of symmetry. So think like a boat in the water or a butterfly wings, something like that. All right, so these are materials we're going to use for our flamingo drawing. And the first thing you're going to do is we're going to fold our paper in half. So I'm going to start by just taking the bottom of my paper, meeting it with the top, and giving it a nice fold. This is going to create our line of symmetry without having to actually draw a line. So I'm going to be using a pencil today, and then I'm going to use colored pencils to color it in. I'm going to move those to the side just for now. Um, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to draw the flamingo that's uh, the real, you know, existing flamingo. And then afterwards, we'll draw the reflection. So I'm going to draw really lightly since I'm using um, colored pencils. We don't want the lines to be too, too dark. But that being said... I'm going to draw darker than I typically would just because I want it to show up for you guys in the video, but I encourage you to draw a little bit lighter if you can. So the first thing I'm starting with is the beak of the flamingo, so a little triangle, and I actually have it just touching the my line of symmetry. So we have the beak, and then from here... I'm going to draw the head and the head is just going to be an oval shape and see I draw lightly to start and once I'm happy with the shape I'll go over it so it's a little bit darker so you can see it and for the eyes you can make any type of eye you want it can, the eye can be looking into the water um, I think I'm going to draw just like a closed eye so a little half circle and then some eyelashes but it's totally up to you and then from here, I'm going to draw the flamingo's neck. Remember, flamingos have nice long necks, and it's going to be kind of curved a little bit. Just like that. And of course, pause the video as you go if you need a little bit of time um, to work on your drawing. That's totally fine. And then from here, I'm going to make the body. So I'm going to continue this line. And just kind of curve it like this and angle it out and make a little tail connect these parts now so as you see when I do my lines I kind of make them sketchy it's not like a solid line and that's how I kind of build the shape as I'm drawing Okay, so that's my flamingo body. And then we're going to add the legs. So the first leg, I'm just gonna do straight down like this. It's gonna go down to my line of symmetry, not passing the line, just stopping right there. And then the second line is going to be um, a little like triangle shape. I'm gonna curve it a little bit. So he's like the flamingo standing on one foot. Now those lines look really thin right now, but when I go in with my color pencil, I'm going to thicken the lines um, a little bit. So <clears throat> for my colors, I'm going to pull out, I have tons of fun pinks and oranges in here, kind of like purpley pink. So I'm going to go ahead and color my flamingo. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you how to um, reflect the flamingo into the water.
All right, so here's my flamingo. And as you can see, I colored it kind of nice and dark. I pressed really hard with my orange to make the beak and the legs. And then I pressed pretty hard when I colored my flamingo. We want the top flamingo to be much darker in color than the reflection. Because anytime you see a reflection, um, it's a little bit you know, wavier and a lighter than the actual image itself. So next, we are gonna go back to our pencil. And here again, you wanna draw really, really lightly, especially now, because if you need to erase, um, you don't want any harsh pencil marks. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our beak, and I'm just gonna do my best and kind of mimic the beak on the bottom of the paper. And what you wanna imagine is if you were to fold it on top, the image would lay right on top of itself. So I'm just gonna mimic the beak so it's point to point, and then I'm gonna bring it out and makes like a triangle shape. And again, I'm gonna go a little bit darker than I normally would, just so it'll show up on the camera. And then from here, I'm just gonna do my best to make the head as similar as possible. And it's okay if it's not exact. Um, you know, we're just like doing our best here and you'll kind of get the idea. I'm gonna add, mimic the eye. And then from here, I'm gonna do the neck. And I'm just kind of following along. I'm gonna stop, try to stop the neck in about the same spot. And then we're gonna do the top of the body. Make a little tail. Bottom of the body. And I'm just mimicking the drawing as best I can. And then for this leg, this straight line, you're just gonna continue and make a straight line to here. And then I'm gonna mimic the triangle like that. So you're just recreating the drawing on the other side. Now, when I go to color in my bottom flamingo, I'm going to color it much, much lighter. And I'm gonna show you what that is going to look like. All right, so as you can see, my reflective flamingo is a lot lighter than the one up on top. And now I have some shades of blue and green. I'm gonna to start to add the water. And this is how we're really gonna to start to make it look like um, the flamingo is reflected in water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pick one of my colors, uh, bluish, greenish, whatever you have. And right around the beak, this is the point of the flamingo touching the water. We're gonna add some ripples. So I'm gonna start by adding these curved lines. And you can, um, you can draw right over on top of the bottom flamingo. And these curved lines act as the connection point of the flamingo to the water. And the lines will start to kind of get bigger as you go. There. And then the next thing you wanna do is we're actually going to start to um, color right over on top of this flamingo. So something you can do too is if you wanna add other kind of like ripple lines that helps us know that it's water. So for that I'm using kind of like a darker color. And then I might take this foamy green color. What color is this? Aqua green. Oh, perfect. And I'm going to start to color in with my aqua green. And so I'm holding the pencil on its side and I'm using it on its side to start to color right over on top of the flamingo. And I'm just kind of like scattering this green because I'm going to be using some other colors as well. Let's see, I'm gonna pick up this darker green. This is a green blue. And that's why I like color pencils for this project. Crayons would also work. 
Um, markers would be a little tricky because we are coloring over on top of the flamingo. And with the colored pencils, it helps to be able to kind of like see through this water that we're adding. And that would be hard to achieve with markers. Let's see, I'm gonna get this. Add some more like true blue. And I'm really careful to not pass this horizon line yet, our line of symmetry. I'm coloring nice and light with my water. All right, and then the last thing I need to do is add my sky. Now, if you wanted to do the sky in marker, that would work. Um, if you didn't want to use the colored pencils anymore, you could switch and do that in like a darker blue for the sky. Um, I'm just going to stick with my colored pencils because that's what I have out. But I'm going to finish my sky and then I'll come back and show you the final product. All right, and here's my finished product. When I was coloring the sky around my flamingo, I was really careful to color around the flamingo and not on top of it. So that's the difference between the top and the bottom and what really helps it to make it look like that flamingo is reflecting, reflecting in the water. Uh, so I hope you give this reflective flamingo drawing a try.